what frightens me about this moment is that we're failing to see each other's humanity. There's so many ideological chasms that we are trying to cross now. Towards One Wisconsin understands that we exist in a time where we are imperfect. We need to do the work and this work is going to take all of us engaging in it. It's an opportunity to bring people together that may not normally come together and provide them that space to, to talk about issues that are happening on the community related to DEI. There's power in inclusivity in bringing people together, but we can't just talk about that. We have to take that next step to say, what does that mean for us? What does the action look like? The conference is purposely designed to cover a breadth of topics, whether you're in the health fields, whether you're in education, K-12 and beyond, community work or activism, and of course business. What are the best practices that are happening across the different fields? And what are the innovative ideas that are out there? I attended a session this morning about leadership and forming diversity councils, and they were very practical and intentional with what they talked about. Folks from all walks of life could benefit from being at this conference. The message that I gave today, if you aren't writing a story, a story is being written for you by others. And as such, we have to empower those in our communities who are marginalized, who are invisible, who are tokenized, who are forgotten. The only way America succeeds is if you stretch and expand the tent. It's the only way that this multicultural experiment that we are enduring and living thrives. The excitement of the room with over 600 people, it was amazing to see the diversity of the people and the enthusiasm for bringing people together to make positive change. Talk about a rainbow coalition, an age coalition, abilities, ableism. I mean, everything was in this room today. It's just a beautiful experience. So I feel like there's energy to make Wisconsin a better place where people want to engage in those conversations about how to make a difference for the good. And that requires having difficult conversations sometimes. It requires talking about painful topics. We have to have a community that's welcoming to all sorts of different people and who feel home uh, in addition to a place that they can uh, work. We decided to hold this conference because we were asked to hold the conference by Church Mutual Insurance who are in the space of diversity, equity, and inclusion as part of just who they work with and who they are as, as a company. There is a lot of truly reputable organizations behind this initiative, and they keep coming back year after year because they want to continue to be part of it. Justice is a long road, but it bends towards the good and people who make it towards the good. I know that this is a long journey. People have been on it long before I was born, and people will be on it long after I'm gone. I just feel that we are called to do our part while we're here. Thank you.